you might already know that you can use an authorization helper at the collection level, the folder level, or the request level. In this collection, I'm going to add a collection level authorization under the auth tab and use OAuth2 in Postman will add my auth data to the request headers. Let's scroll down to the bottom just to see how I've set this up. If you want to configure a new OAuth token, you'll scroll down here to configure new token. I'm going to create a token name called Spotify using the authorization code flow. I'm going to enter all my credentials in here, scope, etc., and click get new access token. I've already done this one time and authorized the Spotify token. So if I go to the top, I can see that I have a current token. Again, I just created a token called Spotify and here it is and it's expired. OAuth tokens are short-lived and they only live for a certain amount of time before they expire. So I can automatically see that it's at that it's expired. I can either refresh my token here, or there's a couple of settings that where I can toggle on to auto refresh my access token. If I have this toggle on, then it'll be refreshed. The token will be refreshed before sending my request. And I'm in a team workspace. You can see by the icon up here, I'm in a team workspace and if I want to share my access token with anyone who has access to this request in this team workspace, I can toggle this on here. Before we fiddle with any of these settings, let's just see what's going to happen. Let's go and load up our get request. And because I have the authorization helper set up at the collection level, I can see that this request is inheriting from the parent, the collection and using OAuth2. And that means that under headers, if I scroll to the top and I can see these auto-generated headers, Postman is automatically adding an authorization header with the proper credentials formatted the way I configured on the previous tab. So let's hit send. Well, I'm 401 unauthorized. The access token is expired, but we knew that. So let's go back to our collection level authorization. And again, we can hit refresh right here and see refresh this token that Postman's going to use, but we can also auto refresh access token. So again, this is going to refresh the access token before sending the request. Now that I've turned that toggle on, let's go back to our get request and send again. Postman sees that my refresh token is expired and it refreshes the token. So now I can make my calls. Let's go back to our configuration options. And now you can see that the latest refresh token has been stored and it'll expire a little bit later today. So a couple places where you can control the refreshing of your expiring tokens. One is here manually, wherever you set your authorization helper at the collection folder or request level. And the other one is this option right here to auto refresh. And don't forget, if you want to share your refresh tokens with your colleagues in this team workspace, you can always share the access token as well. Mm -hmm.